Fishing the Wild West TV with Wes David is brought to you by Tracker Boats, Fish the Finest, Adventure Destinations, Book your trip of a lifetime with Adventure Destinations and Thompson's Resort, Big Chief Meat Snacks, Big Taste, Big Adventure, along with Cam Clark Ford, the official vehicle of Fishing the Wild West TV. Living a dream, fishing the streams, fishing the wild. <laughs> She's getting a little western on the deck. We're here today at the Buzz Bomb Tackle Factory. We have Tim and Gaia with us. Gaia's going to stay here and keep the lights on while Tim and I go out and fish the west coast for a variety of species with the Buzz Bomb, Zinger, and Spinnels. Whoa. He hit it on the downfall, Tim. Yeah. They like the drop because that's when the action of the lure is at its best. It's when it's falling. It's when it's falling. It's situated here. So we're just jigging a reef. We're with Tim. Tim and Guy are the owners of Buzz Bomb Lures. And we're out here getting first hand knowledge and, and teaching of how to run the lure. We're fishing ling cod, but bunch of bottom different species of yeah. bottom fish could come up a even might even be able to hook into a salmon where we're at but we're fishing an old wreck that was sunk for a reef yeah now if he sees the boat he might do a big run and, i'll just uh, hang on you just hang on there <laughs> yeah and you're on braid i like to have braid with then a top shot or leader of mono and then you can really feel the different bites you and uh, difference. you can really tell yeah and he's he's gonna see the boat and he's gonna get tricky That's he's nice. interesting that could be a salmon because he's running and sorry it could be a salmon because of because when he starts to move away like that yeah it can very often be a salmon that's um something yeah, he's, I can feel some. But he ha hey, I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. Oh, it's a dogfish. All right, dogfish. <laughs> Let's show you this. <laughs> we hook them all here with the buzz bombs. <laughs> so this is like a shark. So, so basically. This is not the salmon shark like the, that looked like a small great white. This is a dogfish. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if that's the right term because I'm going to see my first one right now. And so, <laughs> so that we call that a dogfish, and this it is, is a dangerous shark species. Part. Yes, and so there's show absolutely. us that. So this is where you have to be careful. So when you get them, they'll try to whip this around almost like a stingray, and and that's how they protect look, themselves. Look at their they, eyes. They well, really enjoy active reefs. I've caught a lot of things with the buzz, the family of buzz bomb lures, but that's my first shark species. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. We might get a few when there's one. They tend to be uh, in schools. And this was, I just sent it down and one, two, bang, he took it. Tim reeled up real quick on his side. Yeah. And I got the, I got the zinger on. I changed the zinger for no other reason yeah. than one of my favorite lures. Like, when, when you have the zinger on, you get down faster. So you get the bite faster. Here he is here. There's a little link on. He's a good one. There we go. Perfect. So we'll just get him out of the net. We'll show you the lure and the fish. And this is, we've been here 30 seconds. Yeah, so if you grab him, or you want me to hold him? You just hold him like that. We'll just show him. So just a young guy. Young guy, greenling actually, you can see he has a greenish tinge. So that, that's yeah, young. I'll, I'll grab it if you want. No, just, so just a little guy, first 30 seconds on the zinger. I'm gonna let Tim deal with that fish, I'm going back. When Fish in the Wild West TV is in the Comox area, we stay at the Crown Isle Resort and Golf Club. Beautiful accommodations and everything an outdoorsman could want. And if you're into golfing, 
book your rooms and tea times all at the same time, or just stay in comfort and relax and head down to the marina only minutes away from Crown Isle Resort and Golf Club and fish for a variety of species, including Chinook salmon. This segment has been brought to you by RockGuard, protect your investment, and PowerPole, total boat control. Closed captioning is brought to you by Buzz Bomb Tackle, iconic sonic fishing lures made in North America for over 50 years. Draw as it was falling, as jigging through that bait pile that you've put us on. Whoa. Oh, huge jump! <laughs> Is that yours? Yeah, it must be. I guess. I, guess. <laughs> I don't know. On maybe the end it's of my best, line. Best friend's angry. <laughs> <laughs> it must be. Him. Okay, he's coming close. You got the net? Yeah. And he come up, so he jumped. He's big. He's gonna run now. Yeah, he knows he's hooked. Yeah. Whoa. In the heat of the day. In the heat of the day, just coming up to slack tide on top of a big bait ball we've named Mega Bait Ball. Here, you might have to go. When they're on like this, they got control. Yeah. You got to. And they're angry. <laughs> I would be too. How straight places with you, Wes. Oh, he's a good size. It's a beautiful fish. It's a, sh it's a coho. That perfect. I'm gonna get him out of the net. It's a beautiful coho on the zinger. Um, we're gonna get him back in the water. We're not keeping any all catch and release here with Tim, the owner of Buzz Bomb Lures. And then we'll show you what we're doing and why we're doing it. Just look at the look how old he is with a hooked nose and white gums. It's a beautiful fish. So how old would that fish be, Tim? At least three or four. There he goes, he went right under the boat and gone. Now, Tim, we got on here. Tell us what we got, what, the color and why we're doing it, why we've picked it. So this is a Zinger pink holographic. And later on in the season, the pink really is attractive to the fish. And one of the reasons why Zingers are so effective when we're chasing bait balls. We've had sea lions, we've had whales, and the zinger gets right on top of the bait really quickly. So right it, down, it, blends it, in. it was designed to go corkscrew down extra fast. So when you see that bait and you see those salmon hit it, you can get there right away. Whereas a buzz bomb or a spinnow takes its time. Now, and why we're doing that, so we're finding the bait pockets jigging down to the pockets and then ripping this up in a jigging presentation. Now that's imitating one of the wounded fish within the bait pile. There's other boats around us that are trolling, but we're having incredible hookups with the family of buzz bombs. Okay, I just cast it, so I'm gonna let that go down. Tim's on, another salmon. Yeah, uh, yeah it's a I'm good gonna one. move this for now, sorry. He's close. It's right there. He's angry. Oh, I don't want to knock him off. He's going crazy. Uh, let him run a bit. It's really he's just, once they see the boat, they go crazy. And he's seen the boat. Or it could be those whales chasing him. That would get me a little excited. Oh, he's got nice. In the net. Okay. So let him flip around a second. Okay, we'll bring him in. We'll get him, get the lure out of him. The lure's we'll out. Show him to you. This is actually, this is actually a pink salmon. It's not a coho or a chinook. We've caught one of each today. So they'll all run together. They'll all run together. That. It's an off year for pinks, but um, yeah, that's fantastic. That's the third type of salmon we've caught. We got it on the zinger green hollow. I'll let him go. And then show us the, 
the zinger that you're using. So I've got a spinno tied on my rod on one side of the boat. Tim's got a zinger over here. So in that, it was a green holographic zinger. And the green hollow ha has legendary status, particularly with the inventor of the zinger, Doug Field, who invented this lure back in the 70s. This is his absolute go-to. And it's the colors. And this it's, color scheme, particularly in the Strait of Georgia, is absolutely lights out brilliant. So this same, same lure, the same lure, same color pattern, and a variety of other color, color patterns. I've had incredible luck on salmon, on, on lake trout. Matter of fact, all the salmonoid species, they just can't get enough of the buzz bomb, zinger, and spin -off. This segment has been brought to you by Hooked Magazine, Hooked on Fishing in the Great Outdoors, and Lucky Bug Lures. Get hooked on Lucky Bug Lures. This segment is brought to you by the City of Airdrie, big city amenities with that small town feel, and gill fishing, anywhere, all conditions. Tim just released when he was just cleaning up, and I dropped down over here. Oh, that's a nice fish. And he's right, probably just, I'm gonna say five, 10 feet off the bottom. I got the zinger on. Yeah. He doesn't know he's hooked yet, but... That's good. Once I see the boat, she gets a little... lose it. <laughs> yeah, they get a little excited. He'll lose it, not you. Um, what side of... Do you want to be on Whatever to you net? want. Whatever you want. Probably I don't know. I just... I got the boat coming over top my line, so I got to... We could do a walk around. Um, I'll wait till he decides. Yeah, that's a good so, idea. <laughs> we got Tim out of the office, out of the warehouse, finally fishing. Um, normally he's in building lures, painting lures, getting it shipped out to customers. And we got him out for a day of fishing on his boat and we're getting a real schooling. Uh, you know, I mean, I thought I knew how to run the buzz bombs, spinnels, and zingers. I've been working with them for four years, but just the, the hands-on knowledge I'm getting with Tim, the guru, it's incredible. Have to walk. Yeah. So I'm gonna come around. Okay, I can see my leader. So he's getting close. You just had one chasing that up. Another nice one chasing. Oh, there you saw the boat. Yeah. Oh. oh, he's a beast. I'm worried oh, about. Oh, he's huge. Yeah, I'm worried about these motors. Yeah. Maybe back <laughs> off your tension just a tad. Oh yeah, it's a good one, Wes. Oh, he come up to have a look at the Mercury's. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's a good fish. That'll, it's, <laughs> again, we're just, we're just, no, it's okay, Tim. That does not bother me. That alarm you hear going off is the shallow alarm, but it's not shallow here. That's the bait ball creating a false bottom. This is a big fish. I didn't see if he's Chinook or oh, what. Nice. Yeah, it's hard to say. Here he is. In the net, big the Chinook, net. isn't big it? Big Chinook. Okay, I'll give you some slack. Okay, in the net. Big Chinook, hang on, Tim. I can give you more slack and get that hook out right there. It's just it's out of the fish. It's in the net. You can get it. So beautiful Chinook salmon on the zinger. Jigging out here. Uh, 102 feet of water, just following, perfect. Just following the, the bait balls. And sometimes the salmon are above the bait ball, sometimes they're below on the edges and we're just targeting the outside edges, jigging and, and presenting a wounded fish. This Gear Talk is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. So Tim, there's some differences between the three lures and there's some science behind it, some, some knowledge to how, they, how you got there and why they're like that. Can you give us a basic ep explanation about all three lures? Absolutely. So of course the original uh, lure created was the buzz bomb and 
its spin and erratic descent uh, was a real attraction to mm -hmm. to all fish. But as as you develop your comfort level with the lure, what can happen is in faster moving bait conditions, uh, current, you need to get down to that bait very quickly. And the lure was designed after the buzz bomb for its corkscrew descent. So it, the it's still the zinger. So it still rotates on the line, but when it descends, it's descending extremely fast to get you when you see those fish, like for example, on your sounder, it allows you to get down extremely fast. Now, what about the spinnow? Yeah, so the spinnow is a little bit different in that it has a wire through it. It's easy rigging, but also um, spin it, for us. it it spins extremely consistently and directly down. So for some of those fish that need a more consistent uh, presentation, um, that extra split second to bite it, the spinnow is extremely effective. And that's why we see it for the for the bottom fish like lingcod, cod, yellow eye, just because it's hanging there so consistently in front of them, often that extra it's second. It's one of my favorites for lake trout as well, but into the freshwater species. Absolutely. All of them catch amazing species, whether it be freshwater or saltwater. What you need to do is grab the family of buzz bombs, get them in your tackle box, and see what works best for you for the species you're fishing. Fishing the Wild West TV will be right back. This segment is brought to you by Big Sky Flies and Jigs, Tackle You Can Trust, and Tourism Saskatchewan. Start planning your visit today. Yes, we made different stops at, at just like fishing lakes. You're fishing the structure and the fish that are on the structure. You're dropping those buzz bombs down. And these buzz bombs, like they're hit, this structure here is really rough, like rock, sharp rock, almost like volcanic rock. And it doesn't bother those lures in any way. My record is 309 lake trout <laughs> jigging off the rocks with the same, I was using a spinnow. Here we have a Big quill God. back. Excellent. Right off the bottom, we'll give them some slack. That's a big one. And we'll show them to you. you. These are one of my favorite fish. They're they're just they're prehistoric looking, and they're delicious. And on that note, this fellow is going to make another appearance in this episode, right around lunchtime. Tim just just dropped down. He moved us to another side of this. We're on we're on a big rock pinnacle. And this is one of his go-to ling areas. So he just dropped down. I haven't even got my rod out yet, and he's on. A little bit of cheating, I think, eh, Tim? Yeah. <laughs> he gave me an espresso and put me over there and kept me quiet. Yeah. Let's see what we got. This rod definitely makes it look huge. We're on a beautiful boat here, Tim's boat. He's got a kayak rod. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So while we're out here, let's say we're field testing some buzz bomb lures, Gaia, it's Tim, a link. Can you get the net? Tim's wife is at home taking care of orders and shipments. <laughs> we're field testing. Okay. We got them in the net. Perfect. Okay. So this is the results of Tim making me sit and wait. Oh, I'm just going to check the bottom, he says. Enjoy your espresso. Bang. So this is a perfect size, you said, Tim. We're going to yeah. have him for lunch? We're going to have this guy for lunch. He's a perfect 65er, which means uh, 65 centimeters and over, you can keep him. And Ling is one of my favorite eating, so we're going to have him fresh on the boat, right here on the boat. And uh, but I'm going fishing right now. Wild Cookhouse is brought to you by Wild West Seasonings, home of award-winning seasonings, marinades, brines, and batters. On this week's segment of the Wild Cookhouse, you can't eat any fresher. The lingcod and rockfish that we caught on the reef just over there, about roughly a mile, are going to go on to the Coleman stove after they're introduced to a little Wild West seasoning. That's what Tim from Buzz Bomb Lures Wild West Seasonings can do to fresh rockfish and lingcod right here on the boat. The zingers become my new favorite. 
um, just because I've had so much luck here in the last couple of days with it. And, and I mean, being with Tim and learning the little subtle tricks of fishing them and why, how they fall, how they react, made a big difference. There he is, good ling. Excellent. Okay, I'm into my backing. Yeah, walk them off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect, I'll give you a little slack. We'll let them thrash there and then we'll bring them in the boat. Got a great link card here. Um, matter of fact, we just had one of these for lunch. Not this big, but these are great. And it's just another species that the family of buzz bomb can jig up here on the west coast. Let, let's see it. Let's, let's become my new favorite. Zinger, four and a half ounce, pink hollow. Pink hollow. Ask for it by name. And away he goes, under the boat, back down, 180 feet of water. Well, that's a wrap on this week's episode of Fish and Wild West TV. Tim, I wanna thank you for having us, taking us out on your boat, um, showing us the inner workings of the entire buzz bomb family here on the Pacific Ocean outside of Comox. It's been a fantastic pleasure, Wes. I love that Fish in the Wild West TV came to really see where the buzz bomb was invented and how we use them out here on the West Coast. From Buzz Bomb and from Fish and Wild West TV, we hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Fish and Wild West TV. If you like what you've seen, follow us on social media or through the pages of Hooked Magazine. Him and his kayak rod, his favorite rod, his lucky rod, and we've got a lucky pineapple on board. That's right. <laughs> and I'm not yeah. kidding you. We have a lucky pineapple. A lucky pineapple. <laughs>